you have been asking me about these uh, Atlantic salmon kilt pins. So I thought I'd tie one up for you guys today and uh, explain a little bit about it. So you want to grab a kilt pin, you want to grab it. Um, this one's about a uh, little over a two inch one. Uh, it's one of the smaller ones, but if you're going to start, this is uh, an easier version to uh, go with. And as far as thread goes, what we're going to do, we're going to do a little freelance uh, today. So this is the great thing about it. Um, you can have some fun tying these up. So I'm using a uh, 6-0, actually it's an 8-0 black thread. Basically you want to start building a little bit of a base up, not too much. Just get the uh, thread started. And the one thing about these pins is you really want to have fun tying them. You want to take your time. You don't want to rush it. So this one we're going to, um, and the one thing you want to make sure is you want to try and get it to a certain degree symmetrical, even with the head. At times it is hard to do that, but uh, you just want to guesstimate there. So we're going to start by uh, putting in a, uh, tag at the back and as soon as I get my head here. so we're gonna put in a little silver tag to start now this um, tinsel that I'm using is double-sided so when you use a double-sided uh, tinsel one side's gold one side is silver. The color that you want you that you want to use you want up against uh, the uh, this isn't a hook shank but against the uh, pin. And that way when you do turn it, it will be the color that you want when you start winding it up. So we're gonna put it back and then we're gonna go forward with it with the thread to where we want the tag to be. Okay. So we're going to start winding this up. And the one thing with these, um, with winding a tag or whatnot, especially when you're really thin, I basically like to do it three times. So I'll go up, I'll go back. And then I'll go up again and that way it gives it a little bit of, of bulk but not too much but it also makes sure that you've covered the entire area okay so oops that came out a little bit okay so now I want to tie that down here well three wraps should do it and before you cut it you always want to you know turn if you're able to turn your vise and double check Again, that you got everything covered there. Okay. Now we're going to cut that off. And have some fun with tails. Uh, let's see here what we're going to use on this one. We're going to use some uh, Lady Amherst Tippet in a purple on this one. And again, you want to you want to have some fun with this stuff, right? Now, you, now what I like to do is I will actually pull some off, okay? And make sure you're even there. And again, you're, you're freelancing this, right? Freewheeling it. So you wanna, you know, if it doesn't look right, then you can untie it and move on to something else. Okay.
I'm just gonna tie this in and I'm just gonna give it a couple wraps just to see what it looks like. And you know what? I don't mind that. Got more wraps. We're gonna add to the tail here. Okay. And we are going to add some golden pheasant crest, which is like the standard at times, if you wanna call it on Atlantic salmon patterns. Okay. Pull down the short fibers here. Peel them off or cut them off. And you're still gonna, always going to have one or two that are loose. And you want to judge this about to the size of the fly, but uh, bring it back to about the end of your first tail, right? right about there and tie that in, okay. And we're just going to make some adjustments here and making sure that that is good. And we're going to tie it back. There we go, okay. See how that looks. here. Secure that in place. Okay. Just want to make sure everything's good. You always keep checking what you're doing. Okay. Okay. At this point, I'm looking at this and I'm not happy uh, with the purple. So, and that's the thing, you wanna take your time if you're not happy with it. I did look in the beginning, but it doesn't look with the look good with the golden pheasant. So I'm actually gonna unwind that. Not happy with it. Okay, there we go. And we're just gonna go back and tie in another piece. golden pheasant. Okay, there we go. And we'll just a uh, couple loose wraps. Make sure you got it properly there. There, that's a much cleaner look there. Okay, secure it forward. And now, we are going to let's see here, add in some ostrich earl. Okay. Now let's see here. I'm gonna grab about three pieces here. Tie that in. Just gonna wind these three. Sometimes I use just one. It's a smaller fly, but because this is a pin, I'm using three pieces. Okay. Tie that in. Secure that. Now we're also gonna give it a little bit of a, some fuchsia wrap there, just at the back. There we go, there we go. Wind that back and wind that forward. 
forward where we want the body to start. And again, take your time. You want to double check that, make sure it's okay. Yep. Figures what I need is in the bottom bucket. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of orange ostrich oil. And for this one, this one's a little bit thicker. Just going to screw that in. It's not a big deal how you secure that in because you are wrapping it back over itself. So here we go. I just want to give it a little turn there and make sure everything's good. One more turn and secure that down. Now you want to get, you want to pick your body, but you also want to pick uh, your rib. And for the rib, uh, let's see what we're going to use here. Some very fine silver tinsel. We'll use. Make sure you cut off enough for the rib because this is a little bit longer fly than normal because it is a pin. Wind that back, get out of the way. And now what you wanna do is pick your body. Uh, we can do floss, we can do chenille, we can do tinsel. There's many different things we can use, but we are going to be using, let's see here, some very bright green floss as our body. Now with the, even with the rib, cutting it off, having it long enough, because you don't want to run out. Make sure you cut off enough because you are winding this body up. So you want to secure that in. I just like to pull it back a bit, get a couple wraps there and then go forward with it. And don't worry about it being perfect going forward. What you want to do is look at where you want this fly to finish. You want to look at the back, how much you have there. Okay, that looks about right. So now we're just gonna start winding it. And if you find that it's not, you're not covering everything, then you can basically go back over itself as long as you have enough floss cut. So basically you're trying to just wind it, give it a nice smooth body. And when you do that, just want to give it a little check, make sure everything is good. And continue to wind up. Now again, this is not any particular Atlantic salmon pattern, but it's just a little freelance, a little freewheeling. Designing your own pins are, it is fun. Here is probably one more and wind that back right there. And tie that off. Okay. Just 
take that off. Now you want to take your rib. Good thing about the rib is you can see how you're doing on both sides, basically from just looking at one side. Uh, you can go up and down with this or on an angle. I like to have my ribs, my ribbing on an angle. And you want to make sure you keep it symmetrical, spacing as much as you can. And again, just tie that off. Great. Do a little check. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Now, let's give it a little, uh, let's give it a little throat. Let's see, let's use a little bit of uh, bright blue marabou. Sounds good. good there. I just want to get that the excess out of the way here because it is a pain in the butt. And then you want to put it back and then basically trim everything that you can that you're not using before you secure this down. Okay, make sure it's in the, you know, your throat's in the middle there. Secure it down. I want to see where my thread is. more of that excess. And tying with these uh, pins, it's not like tying a regular fly because you got a lot of things in your way. Again, just take your time. Air blue is always fun to work with. Now I'm just gonna wind that forward. And that's gonna basically cover that head the excess marabou. Okay. Throat looks good. I like it. Okay. Now, let's give it a little bit of a uh, wing. What are we going to use for the wing? Well, we can keep up with the, the same theme of blue with the neck. So we add in a little uh, blue Arctic Fox, which seems to work, which just travels great in the water. I know we're not fishing this in the water. It is a pin, but I love using this stuff. And you want to pull out the, uh, what I call dubbing there and all the, you know, Try to even out as much as you can. Okay. And we just want to get that back to about, let's see here, about there looks good. Just give that 
down. Some wraps in there. Oh, that looks good. Now, of course, the issue is going to be trimming this. If I had my razor blade handy, this would be a lot simpler. But I don't. Okay, so let's wind it forward and secure the tip of that down. Oh yeah, that's starting to look really good. Okay. Why don't we use, let me add in, as we go with that little purple theme at the back, some a uh, little bit more Arctic Fox, but we'll do this in a purple to match that little tag we have at the back. When you're doing these, make sure you're not doing it, you know, too thick, right? Put that on top, roll it like that. Put it down, a couple loose wraps. Making sure that's good. A couple tight wraps there. And before you secure anything else down, make sure you cut off the excess there. And we're gonna secure that down. Now you basically can see that the lie is coming in it to its own. Okay. Get some jungle cock and add in some eyes. Okay. You see two pieces that are perfect right there. split you want to tie in the eyes basically at the same angle where you're splitting uh, the two different colors of wing that you put in okay make sure you got it at about the same angle there And tie that in, making sure I got everything the same. No, I don't. And again, take your time. And trying to make the eyes the same length. And that about did it there. Access there and here and now basically you just want to give it a nice smooth head uh, and you also want to cover everything that you've done so if there's any always want to check both sides making sure that there's no piece of hackle or feather sticking out around both sides come back to the end and here we're just going to uh, finish it do about six turns you can do five you can do whatever you want because again this is not going to be fish so you don't have to go crazy with them um, you put on there as far as the whip finish goes and now I like to finish this with a clear UV finish now just take your time again with this putting a little bit on at a time just 
shown this in my videos before, where you just hit it for a few seconds with the light and it just gives it a quick set. And then you can continue moving and finishing it off. just about there once you're happy with the head and everything else then now you want to hit it with the UV light a little bit longer to get it set anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds There you go. So that little pin, a little freelance, take it off here. And there you go.